Temperatures continue to pour in for a Superior Court judge who was hit by a car outside the State House last night. Judge Richard Leach, a former lieutenant governor and state senator, was listed in serious condition at the hospital after the crash last night. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now with an update on how he's doing today. Amanda. While it's still unclear if that driver will face any charges, Judge Richard Leach is still hospitalized. On the House floor, the Speaker of the House shared an update saying he underwent surgery and that it went well. At the rise of the Rhode Island House of Representatives Thursday afternoon, a moment for Judge Richard Leach. Richard Leach uh, was in a very serious accident as a pedestrian yesterday. I just ask everybody to keep him and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Leach had just left the state house Wednesday night when Providence police say he was hit by a driver while crossing Smith Street. He was hospitalized in serious condition. The driver did stay on scene. The latest information I have is that he has had uh, surgery uh, this afternoon and all indications and it's very early uh, that it looks very good. Leach, a former lieutenant governor and state senator and current Superior Court judge, wasn't in a crosswalk at the time, according to police. I had no idea what it was when I first walked out of the state house. Rep. Teresa Tanzi saw the aftermath. And it was impossible to miss. There was a person who was on the ground. Um, and honestly, the first thing that I did see was a pair of shoes. Um, that was just on the side of the road and then several feet away um, there was a body laying on the ground that was being worked on by a number of first responders. It's the second time this week a pedestrian was hit by a driver in Providence. On Monday night, a person was killed on North Main Street. Tansy is one of many who say city streets need to be made safer for all. We have no idea whether he was getting into his car parked right there or whether he was crossing the road and didn't see someone who may have been speeding. We don't know those circumstances, but we have a lot of opportunities to make our roads safer for everyone. Again, we are still waiting to hear if that driver will face any charges. Providence police say this incident is still under investigation. I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.